So this was a big bucket list item and today we can say we finally checked it off. Well, a volcano in southwest Iceland has erupted, releasing streams of lava from under the Earth's surface. in Iceland. Nowadays, it seems like you can't open up social media without seeing pictures of Iceland's active volcano that's been erupting since March of this year. Now we're waiting in line to give them our vaccination cards and our passports so that they can print out our boarding passes because you're not allowed to check in unless they see that you have been vaccinated or you have your PCR negative test. All right, awesome, so we just checked into our flight, um, stored them our vaccination card, everything's all set, got our tickets, and we are off to Iceland. Yeah, so it didn't cost charge. any money to check in our bags, so that was a big plus. Yeah, so that's that way we don't have to like carry around all the gear. So we just got through check, and now we're gonna look for a little lounge to hang out before the flight. So we just got into the Air France lounge, um, and this is our dinner tonight. <laughs> We just made it through immigration super quick um, and as soon as you get downstairs they ask you for your vaccination card and for your barcode which is really really important. So as of July 1st in Iceland they are not requiring you to take a PCR test on arrival. All right, so finally we made it to Iceland. And now we're just about to pick up our rental car and, uh, and start exploring, pretty much. And take a nap. So this is our ride for the next couple of days. We're heading to our first hotel. It's around 7 a.m. Not sure what we're gonna do until checkout time. Probably Check nap. In. Check in time. Check in. Check it time. <laughs> so our first stop is a local little cafe here in Grindavik. It's called that. Daniel and I are staying at this awesome property called Harbor View. And what's really cool about this property is that they have, I think it's about nine or 10 apartments. Let me show you how minimalistic and adorable it is on the inside. This is ours, lucky number seven. So you come here and there is a huge window here with blackout curtains and you walk in and let's take a look. We are packing up all of our gear We've got a mess over here, but trust me, we need all these things. We're about to head to the volcano, which is what really brought us here to Iceland. Um, we're gonna head over there in about half an hour or so, and we're getting our hiking boots on. You ready for this, to head into Mordor? It says it all. We are off to see the great erupting volcano of Iceland. Hopefully we can see a lot of lava and uh, huge splashes. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what we're going there for. We bring in a couple of drones to try to capture everything. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hopefully we can get lucky and have some great footage. Follow along with us. We'll see you there. Over here, pre-gaming before the hike. And when I mean pre-game, I mean PB and J's. And butter and Red Bull. We need some wings after that flight. <laughs> Alright, we are about to start the trail. So we see our first sign of the volcano. In the distance right here, there's some smoke coming out. Definitely in Middle Earth right now. 
And there's Mokdor. So I don't know if you can see this, but right behind me, right over there, we're starting to see lava flowing out. It was dormant for most of the day today. Up until about an hour and a half ago, it started to come up again. And we're finally starting to see the lava come out again. So a little known fact about this volcano that's currently erupting in Iceland, actually called an effusive volcano. So there's like a little fissure inside the earth and it cracks and the lava slowly, smoothly flows out. Um, so it's relatively safe to see. There's no real danger of it exploding spontaneously on us. So if you're thinking about coming, if you're worried about danger or anything like that, it's actually quite safe and it's quite marvelous to see. We are actually close enough now that we are starting to smell rotten eggs, aka sulfur. Can you smell the sulfur? Ah, I thought that was you. <laughs> so we found a place to set up shop for the evening um, and just watch the show. So this was a big bucket list item and today we can say we finally checked it off. Team no sleep, it's probably 12 a.m. Um, yeah. yeah, totally worth it. I know we're only gonna get about five hours of sleep, but it is what it is. It was worth it. It was definitely worth it. Yeah, we keep trying to wanna leave, but the view is just spectacular. made it back in one piece <laughs> in one piece it was a long it was a long hike even though it's relatively short only like three to four miles but it was kind of steep um yeah my legs hurt yeah bring hurt. <laughs> definitely bring some hiking boots if you're gonna do this yeah. and second recommendation definitely bring a camera not an iphone because you're gonna want to cherish that memory forever. Yeah. 